Hello guys, welcome back once again to my guide series in The Long Dark. I'm Lonely Wolf, and whether you are a new player or a seasoned veteran in the game, I hope you will find some good information here to help you and assist you in your runs in The Long Dark. The topic of today's video, as you probably guessed by the title, are afflictions. And afflictions are things that affect your status in The Long Dark, most pertinently how well you can or cannot survive. And some of the afflictions can be an indication of an error in your playstyle that needs to be fixed. Uh, most afflictions aren't lethal, uh, they're just um, small things that will affect how you're playing but can become dangerous if compounded over time. For example, sprains, which I'm going to try and acquire here by falling off this tree if I can. Well, I didn't get a sprain, but I got uh, torn bruising or torn clothing and some minor bruising. Anyway, uh, afflictions, you can press F on default key bindings or for the radial menu spacebar or if you're on a controller, whatever key opens up the radial menu and status. And you'll see afflictions right here. You have positive afflictions and negative afflictions, though most of them are negative. Uh, as you get afflictions, you can press F and hover over them and it will tell you what you have and what you need to do um, to fix it. So for example, if you've got food poisoning, you'll need to take antibiotics to help cure that up. Or if you've got blood loss, you'll need to apply a bandage. You can always apply medicine directly from the first aid menu in the radial tab, although you can eat or drink anytime, uh, anything at any time and utilize it on any affliction. Um, and you can use things on the wrong one. So it's best if you're unaware with the affliction system, as we're not going to be covering them completely in depth, as most of them are relatively self-explanatory, is when you get an affliction is to hover over it right here, um, and it'll show you what, what's going on. Um, so for example, we're going to go uh, get ourselves mauled by a wolf real quick so you guys can see. Uh, but for example, blood loss is fixed with a bandage. You put a bandage on to stench to staunch the flow of blood. It's kind of straightforward. Um, some afflictions aren't as straightforward as others. For example, cabin fever. A lot of new players often struggle with the concept of cabin fever. Um, it only shows up in the higher difficulties. Uh, Voyager and beyond, I believe, although I cannot honestly remember as I've done so little gameplay in Voyager if it does affect in Voyager. Uh, let me know in the comments if it still does. Uh, for now, just assume that it does, and I may figure it out and put a text in the video right here saying whether it does or not but anyway cabin fever uh, if you spend too much time indoors over the course of the days it grow goes in a rolling six day period if you spend too much time indoors uh you will get cabin fever which means you no longer have the ability to rest or pass time indoors forcing you to find an outside venue which can be very dangerous uh, so of course the solution to that uh, is to not even get cabin fever risk there's the wolf as to not even get the cabin fever risk, and instead, um, let me get this wolf off real quick so you can see. Alright, so see, afflictions, sprained wrist. So, the solution to sprained wrists is, we go to the afflection, uh, wolf bite, and it shows you right here what you need to do to treat it. So I can either drink, uh, rose hip tea, or painkillers. Or I can rest. Um, I can rest for two hours, um, either passing time or sleeping, to recover. Anyway, sprained wrists. If you try to open up a weapon, you cannot equip a weapon if you see at the top middle of the screen. While I have a sprained wrist, so you can either go directly from the first aid menu here if you know exactly what you need, and you can drink some rose hip tea, and that'll take care of one of your sprains. And I'll take some pills. And now it shows for which item to take it for, uh, because painkillers can address a couple of things. And you can get your wrists healed. Now I can use weapons again. And that's how the afflictions work. So across the broad range of afflictions, uh, it will tell you exactly what treatment's necessary to take care of whatever your problem is. So it's important to be aware of afflictions, that you can acquire afflictions, and that treatment options are available. It's important uh, in the mid-early game, uh, so there's the whole early game, the middle portion of the early game as you're collecting supplies. It's important during that period to attempt to stock up, and we're just going to finish this wolf off because he's hurt and he needs to be put out of his misery. 
Um, anyway, it's important to get supplies like, um, like uh, either natural medicine, like rose hips or reshi mushrooms, or uh, the processed medicines. Uh, it's important to get those stocked up on so you can help heal yourself in case of afflictions. There can also be positive afflictions. You can get um, them by drinking coffee, for example, fatigue reduced. It lowers the rate at which you uh, get tired. Um, or you can get um, improved rest by drinking uh, herbal tea before going to bed at night. Both of those are positive afflictions. Why is this bunny not getting scared? <laughs> How odd. Ah, oh, he does want to run away. Anyway, so that's afflictions. That's what they do. Um, positive afflictions are good. Uh, they're benefits. They're buffs. Uh, you, there are certain scenarios where you may want to get them, such as if you've been in a tangle with a bear or a wolf and your condition's really w low, you can drink herbal tea before going to bed and spend your whole 8 or 10 hours sleeping and get a whole host of your condition back compared to without it. Uh, but that's afflictions, uh, treatments, or what they are offering or what the benefit is will show up in your afflictions tab. Again, press F if you're on default keybinds or radial menu status. Shows you what afflictions you have and their treatment options. Very straightforward. Um, some of them may require a play style change such as cabin fever, um, which we'll be discussing uh, play styles in a future video. Uh, the reason I'm not going in depth into these is uh, the afflictions are relatively straightforward in how you acquire them and their treatment. Uh, but we're just giving you a heads up on them so you understand you can get afflictions. They're a thing that exists in the game. They can be detrimental to you and you want to be on top of them in, or in terms of getting cured. Or in terms of acquiring the beneficial the buffs such as fatigue reduced, etc. While a short video and um, I know several of you guys have requested it. Um, so I hope it does help you guys Afflictions good ones good keep them bad ones bad don't get them treatments show up here I hope that's been beneficial to you guys if you have any questions or more suggestions for me Go ahead and leave them in the comments below I look forward to hearing from you guys and helping you guys succeed on your journey through the quiet apocalypse My name's Lonely Wolf and as always stay safe and stay warm out there